hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl pj and i'm back with another vlog so in today's vlog i'm going to be showing you all how i installed this unit that i made in my previous video and i got this hair from rosemary beauty hair on instagram so if you're interested in seeing that please keep watching meanwhile if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do that and turn on your post notifications so you get notified whenever i post a new video thank you hey guys welcome so this is the hair that i made in my previous video and that's the hair that i'm going to be installing today okay so guys to begin the installation process i put on my wig cap first and make sure that all the sides of my head were covered and all my hair was inside the cap and then i went in with my maybelline superstay brown powder and i used that on the front of my wig cap just so it could be a little bit more blended with my skin color i also used that on my lace closure as well having done that i went ahead to put on my wig and then i adjusted it and made sure that it was sitting properly on my head before i went in with my hair clips and pushed the hair on the side back before going in with my got to be glue to glue the front of the hair down So I applied my got to be glue with my middle finger in front of my hair just a little bit away from my hairline because I didn't want the glue to get onto my hair and then I used a paper to fan that out or blow that out not to make it dry but just to get it tacky enough before placing my closure onto the glue. After placing my closure onto the glue, I went ahead and sprayed my Tresemme Freeze Hold Spray onto that area before going in with my elastic band to tie it down. I waited for a few minutes before taking off the elastic band and then I used the comb to brush back the baby hair before using my eyeball razor to cut off the excess lace in front of the closure. I divided the excess lace into two equal parts and then went in to cut off one side first. So right now I'm just taking my time and carefully cutting off that excess lace so I don't end up cutting some part of the closure in the process. I also cut off the second part of the excess lace and then went ahead to create some baby hair. I did this by taking a little portion of hair from the front of my closure on each side and then I reduced the length to about 4 inches using my eyeball razor before I went in with my got to be hair styling mousse and laid down the baby hair. So guys, I'm using this two-sided hair edge brush that I got from Amazon to lay down the baby hair. So I'm just taking the brush part of this tool and brushing the baby hair back into the hair. So I did like the way I laid the baby hair on the left side of my hair. So I went in with another strip and I did it again before using my elastic band to further hold it down in place. After doing that, I went ahead and took out all the hair pins that I used to hold, hold up the hair curls.
this is how the curls turned out and then to lay down my closure and make it look flat i went in with some balm and used that to control the fly away before going in with my hot air styling brush and i just combed that through the middle of the closure I took a big toothed mouth comb and used that to comb out the curls just to give the hair a fuller look. So this is what the hair looks like after I took out the elastic band and I also went ahead and applied some of my brown powder to the front of the hair just so that it will blend with my skin color. So guys we've come to the end of this video, this is what the hair looked like, this is the final result. I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did do not hesitate to give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe to my channel like my videos share my videos comment and thank you all so much for watching i can't wait to see you in my next one 